Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the Renegade, the newest of Free Jam's fast track robots. The robots in which you can purchase with Galaxy Cash that give you a free garage bay, a set amount of premium depending on the bot, and of course, the bot itself, along with upgrading your level to reach the requirements of the blocks they're made of, of the components they are actually constructed of. So today we're going to be testing this bot out in a few battles and seeing just how well it actually holds up. I've got really high hopes for this bot. It's really heavily armoured in terms of block count, it's gone for a really block spammy build, it's got really good shielding, I mean most of the shields are actually placed very well even if some of them are there mostly for looks and its guns are really well defended. I feel like this is going to be one of those bots that just absolutely crushes any poorly designed bots it comes across. It just seems like it's never going to be killed, or at least it's going to take a whole lot of punishment before finally falling. And of course, this is all speculation because I have not used this bot yet. It still has its two times bonus ready to go. I am yet to even test it out in the single player because I want to test it out in Team Deathmatch for its very first set of trials. So without waffling on anymore, let's go straight into a match and see how it does. And so begins the first battle. It seems like SMGs are actually a little bit uncommon today. Both teams only having two and loads of plasma, loads of rails and loads of medics, particularly on the enemy team. So. This may be a bit of a drawn out battle with a lot of long range firepower and a lot of healing, but a lack of just brute force, so yeah, we'll see how this goes, hopefully it won't be as long as I imagine it might be, but yeah, we'll just continue and do our best and kill everything in sight, in the true SMG spam way. Also happy we are going down the maze. I don't know why, but that medic's movement seems really odd to me. I don't know what it is about it, but perhaps it's because it's going side to side rather than directly forward. It just seemed a little bit bizarre to me. Okay, a bit of a change of path compared to our teammates, just in case I can see one of the flyers a little bit better. Sadly, it seems like that's actually turned out quite badly. Oh no, it hasn't! Excellent! We did indeed get the sight on one of their bombers. On their copters, in fact. Okay, it's going to hit us. A good test for our damage. I think I've lost a leg. Both legs, in fact. Well, medic! <laughs> Excellent timing! Okay, no, no, um, note to self, make sure to sh hold down shift when fighting anything with plasma, because otherwise that happens. Seriously. Can we spot him? Yes we can, okay. We helped. Okay, hold, holding down shift this time, the legs are, are apparently a little bit vulnerable. Going for his legs because because I want to be a bit of a nuisance. There we go. And I would focus on the medics, but I feel like I, I can maybe take out this SMG before he has a chance to fully heal. There we go. Definitely the right thing to do, particularly with this medic being so aggressive. Do I have a healer behind me? No, I don't. Okay. Now I do. Excellent. Yeah, this thing definitely takes damage well, just the legs are a little bit vulnerable, which honestly isn't exactly rare for a mech, so I'm certainly not going to hold it against it. Shooting upwards seemed alright, which was one concern I did have. It seems like as long as it's at a bit of an angle, it's okay. I imagine this thing not doing too well at perfectly shooting up because of the bottom weapons. That's the last one left, so no need to walk towards him. There we go, we get the kill. An excellent battle indeed. Wow! perfectly tied with second place. That's really weird to see. Okay, yeah, but ultimately, quite a nice battle. Uh, the legs are vulnerable, as I just said like five times, which is to be expected. And so let's get into another battle, which hopefully I don't lose my legs again. And so begins the second battle, this time with almost an entire group of SMGs. So hopefully it'll be a bit more of a brawl this time, actually able to test out our damage-taking capabilities. 
In addition to hopefully keeping our legs, that would be nice, I would consider this match a success if we walk away with, well, the ability to walk. Or we just die outright and don't just sit there without our legs, which is pretty much a very boring match indeed. Okay, they're going down there, I'm going up here so I can be a big target because that's the smart thing to do, completely. Can't see anyone just yet. Okay, there's an enemy coming around there. Okay, I thought he was behind the mountain, apparently not, and we have... A plasma bomber coming in hot and going straight down to the floor. A little bit too aggressive there. A little bit on the aggressive side. And hopefully we can mop up that medic as well. Oop, did not see that rail. Managed to, to take a hit we did not need to take there. However, our friends over there were more than happy to finish him off for us. Okay, once again, going for the plasma bomber. Took a fair bit of damage, but still airborne. Seemingly a very tanky designed flyer. There, okay, he's, he's just falling apart. Excellent. And there he goes. Who are you? You are the SMG there. Okay, well that was a very convincing win by our team, I feel. And a fair few kills for me, which always, which is always nice. Not very laggy cruiser. He was there, then he wasn't, then he was around the corner. Who knows where he truly is? Ah, oh, no, not quite enough of a jump there. Once again, wanting for hovers. Anyone else? Nope, no one nearby. There is one enemy left, I have no idea where he is, and sadly we don't have the radar. I think I finally, finally came round to the idea of spending CPU on a radar. Until recently, I was convinced otherwise, just, I liked having the full CPU for armor and weapons and not spending it on stuff like the radar jammer and the radar, but... Over time, I realized how good the radar jammer was, and over even more time, I eventually became aware of how good a high-level radar is as well. Sadly, this one doesn't have the radar section of that. And I'm going to assume he's in the cavern, because no one can find him in the areas where they're at currently. Go down there. See if anyone actually goes to that. Eh, yeah, sadly not. Yay! First place, excellent. So, what did we learn that battle? We can shoot upwards well, uh, we can take a fair bit of damage without really feeling the effects of it, and shields on the shoulders surprisingly good against airborne plasma. From all SMGs to almost no SMGs at all, I feel like this is going to be a very different type of battle indeed. And already we are battling. Oh, someone's coming along there. Okay, there's a medic. Do a little bit of damage to him, always good. Anyone else? Not like I can see. Ooh, the medic got blew up by plasma. Okay. Ooh, that looks painful. That did not look like it hit on my screen, but okay. Mark 7 armor and Mark 7 shields are doing a good job at keeping this thing alive, it must be said. Maybe should have gone for the weapons rather than just trying to core that thing out, but it worked out in the end. We're just going to wade in, take the shots, and hopefully keep our medic safe. Unless that plasma wants to get in front of us, of course, because of reasons. A little bit of server lag at the moment is not helping. Chunk of damage there on the back, and there we go, another chunk. And is it crashing? It looks like it might be. No, it's not. Now it is, though. <laughs> An excellent flip. And there we go. Okay. Well done, those medics keeping me alive this battle. What a mixture of types of boss. This one's in full Mark 4. We've seen someone in full Mark 7. I'm in Mark 6 and 4. It's... The ranking system at the moment is a little bit curious, I will say. Not bad, not good, just curious. 
For saying that, I am playing this quite late at night, so the pool of players is significantly smaller at the moment. Okay, that's an enemy there. I didn't even think it was, but apparently so. Let's see, can I break this thing in half? Let's go from the middle. Yes, we can! <laughs> that's it, Rail. Hit me more. Test my tankiness. And then, of course, I can test yours. You were found wanting. Okay, if we cap quickly, we might win this. I think we might lose it by cap, though. The problem is, we have no one fast enough to actually get back there at the moment. As being a mech, can't really get there with our amazing 75 miles per hour. Maybe he can get back if he goes now. No, we've lost this one by cap, sadly. Someone went straight for the capture point and, and we just didn't have anyone fast enough to get there. Medic, good try, but I doubt you'll get there in time. Oh, you might though. Since you're up in the air, you might... No, not quite... Really? What a shame. A good match, but ultimately the enemy's tactics won the day. Okay, let's get into one more match and see if we can once again do decently. And so begins the final battle. Both teams only have a singular SMG, so once again this is going to be quite an odd match I feel. We do however have a lot of medics, in fact both teams do, so this may be a bit long-winded, honestly. Oh, it's a copter, I thought it was some form of helium bot, honestly, how it was hovering like that. Just its weird rocky nature. Again, really wish I had hovers, because I would have been able to actually move across that then. But whoops a daisy, should have had a bit of forward momentum. Oh, 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 flipping around like a madman there. Not the most sturdy of bots I was shooting at, it must be said. Once again, something I'm very okay with. Yeah, that one's just absolutely falling apart. Although it did, although to be fair, it did have all of, all of its weapons until the very last second. But it seems like all of its movement types were linked a little bit weirdly together. Another copter. Go for its back blade. There it goes. Go for its front blade, and there it goes to the floor. Hopefully, that was a plasma, so it won't be able to do that much damage. As plasmas tend to have their plasma on the bottom of their craft if they are a copter. So, if you're on the ground, as you can imagine, not the best. Whoops. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm actually going to go and defend. We ha we already have a rail and a plasma who can deal with that rail. But I'm not losing another battle to capping. Because that's just boring. I'm sure the medics... Yeah, we have two medics, so each medic can heal the other medic. Meaning our entire team will be healed over time. Which isn't bad at all. There we are. Bit of a twirl there by me for reasons unknown. Maybe I just wanted to look a little bit fabulous while I'm annoying them. Jump over the obstacle. And then absolutely wreck him. Thanks to our plasma support. Not a bad bot against us, but it did have lower tier blocks than us, so it wasn't going to survive the battle, to be perfectly honest. One enemy left. Will I go after the enemy, or will I slowly move to help Cap? I guess I'll slowly move to help Cap and just keep an eye out. We do, we, we do have two plasma bombers currently just moving around trying to search for it, so... If it's an obvious bot that has any health left, we'll probably find it soon. If not, then I would have never found it anyway, and it doesn't really matter too much. Hello? Are you over here? Wouldn't it be lovely if we just found it right now? It just What a lovely end that would be, rather than simply trudging around in the snow searching for a needle in a haystack. Ah, darn it. Oh well. We still did well, in fact, we got the top of the scoreboard. So, let's give our honest opinion.
Ignoring the weird loading screen glitch that just occurred, let's continue. Okay, so my opinions on the Renegade are quite straightforward, honestly. It definitely lived up to expectations. Without really too many surprises, it just took damage really well. It was easy to handle, of course, because, well, it's a mech, and it's very difficult to make mechs that handle particularly poorly. I will say it is a little bit top-heavy, which makes the turning very sensitive, but other than that, that's just something to get used to, and after that, it really doesn't have any major negative. The one big surprise I did find was that the shoulder guards actually did something. More than once, they protected the gun and, in fact, the arm itself from airborne plasma. Although they are there, obviously, more so for looks, being true arm guards for the, sorry, shoulder guards for the American football player this, of course, is meant to represent, it actually protects the arm really well, so well done shield placement. Actually quite surprising. Other than that, the only gripe I would really have with the bot is these two guns here on the hip. They just seem to clip into the bot so much and not really provide all that much help. And of course, that's the reason why they are the only Mark V guns on this bot, the rest all being Mark VI. They clearly know that these are the least important and the worst placed. Although, I would say and argue perhaps removing these and changing the bot's armour, perhaps upgrading some of the Mark IV to Mark V, or perhaps even some of the Mark VI to Mark VII if you are already high enough level, would be pretty good. But for someone who's just buying this to level up their account and doesn't really have the resources to instantly upgrade it, or perhaps not the maximum CPU to do so, it's just good anyway. Even without any changes, it really just is a decent bot. It does everything you'd expect from a Walker SMG. It takes damage well, it's easy to handle, it jumps decently as you might imagine. It There's really nothing much more to say. It's quite a simple bot and it does its... It does its simple job very well, that's what I'll say. So, yeah, definitely a good bot. One of the better bots that FreeJam has actually created over the course of the Robocraft experience, I may say. So, um, the only one I'd say is better might be the current rail bot you can purchase, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But saying that, I've got a bit of a love for this bot. It's just every time I see this one being used, it seems to do really well, either by someone else or myself, because I did actually purchase one of these a long time ago. It does exceedingly well. This, I would say, is probably a close second, although there have been a lot of good bots, particularly within the last couple of months, things like the Titan, among others. But yeah, definitely a very strong contender, depending on what you actually want to purchase. I would purchase it if I was levelling up my account and wanted a boost if I didn't have enough time to play the game. But would I buy it just for the sake of buying it? Probably not, but I think that also goes for all of the fast track bots, which are of course fast track bots, and they're for the very purpose of fast tracking a newer player. And with that, and really not much more to say, other than perhaps hovers would have been nice, Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.